What's up guys? So we just went to the junkyard and picked up a cam angle sensor. Yeah. And uh, here's the part right here. It's out of a 96 Miata, but it'll work. So I'm about to replace it. Yeah, first thing we're gonna do is take the old one out. Yeah, so this is what we're replacing right here. Uh, here's the thing, I don't know, it's tall, it might, right so there. I, I'm gonna put it in there. If it doesn't start, I'm gonna have to flip it around, so I don't know which way it goes. Hold that cam sensor off right now. Now I got it. Okay, so the square part is on top. All right, what's up guys? So a little update on the Miata. I replaced the cam angle sensor, the coil pack, I redid all the grounds, and it still will not start. Well, it'll, it'll start, but it won't run. So we went ahead and took the, e, uh, the ECU apart, and this is what we found right there. The corner of it is just burnt, and um, we had to remove the ferrite bead right there, which is the red thing. And we uh, made a jumper, but that still didn't do it. So we're, I'm going to try to repair this board, but if I can't repair it, I'm just going to get another used ECU for like 100 bucks. So it would be pretty cool if I can repair it. But yeah, so it looks like there's some water damage, and um, about two months ago, I left my rear window unzipped during a rainstorm, and I came back to the car, and there was about two inches of rain in the floorboard. So, um, on the 94 Miata, the ECU sits on the uh, passenger side, uh, like, the passenger side wall behind the seat. So, the rain was going right over it, and it looks like it got in here, because you can kind of see some water damage, very light water damage. So, yeah, if any of y'all are having, like, any idling issues, or your car won't start, and if you replaced almost everything that you can think of, then check your ECU. It's a real easy thing to check, so...